One listener writes in, uh, Peter, who has uh, a long experience in um, uh, micro business, um, also uh, very familiar with the work of Dr. Yunus in uh, Bangladesh uh, and Grameen, and uh, criticized the interview we did the other day with Lily Geismer uh, because of the critique that Geismer had of the Clintons in terms of their support for micro lending and these type of micro um, uh, uh, business work. And we should say, I, I and maybe, I mean, I, I thought she made it clear to us, um, but she made it clear that she didn't have an issue with the micro business stuff and said that, you know, that uh, it, it certainly had success in Bangladesh, but that it is not a substitute for a broader plan she said as 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 an addendum to a an actually um government functioning government that is providing for people she said it's great i mean that that was the way that it certainly was uh relayed in the book and i thought she had articulated to us but i just want to make uh, that clear maybe uh, head back and and listen for that the issue was not that um that micro lending and other such uh, microfinance was 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 bad, but that it was no substitute, which in some respect, uh, and, and, and he writes, uh, while Clinton and others may have had the back of their minds to undermine the social safety net, this was never what U.S. microorganizations had in mind. Yes, but the people in charge of the government are the ones who are making this uh, assessment. And it wasn't so much that they were looking to undermine the social safety net. They cut the social safety net and suggested that this was a replacement. And not not the micro lenders, not the people involved in the microfinance. I'm talking about uh, the Clintons, the government. Uh, we know what they did to so-called w- with welfare reform. So I think that was the uh, point. But do it's, appreciate it's similar the to the uh, the UBI debate, right? Universal basic income. I'm I was not in favor of Andrew Yang's proposal for it during the presidential election because it was presented as an alternative. To social programs as opposed to a supplement yes microfinance ubi things that can be supplementary just can involve cuts to existing social programs exactly and not even uh, like uh, cuts i think you know it was like uh, for for the clinton administration it was it was a an attempt to completely reorient the relationship between government and people yeah uh there was very much a we're going to get government out of the way type of mentality uh, also email from listener Kathy who sent this picture and suggesting what I should do when I'm in Boston Uh, and this um, uh, was wonderful Uh, she said you might want to check out Barry Crimmins Square and uh, there it is there's I had no idea they had renamed this uh, uh, you know sort of like block intersection uh, Barry Crimmins Square this is in Inman Square I lived I would say a block and a half from here uh, with John Benjamin. It was a very unfortunate experience. The man never cleaned anything. At one point, we had to throw out the dishes. Uh, But the Ding Ho was gone at that point. But it was a famous comedy club, uh, a room that uh, Barry Crimmins went in. It was a Chinese restaurant. He went in and said, can I do comedy here? And this is where Stephen Wright, uh, Bobcat Goldthwait, um, Lenny Clark... Uh, others got their start in that room, and it was just the back of a Chinese restaurant. Tony V, uh, 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 others, and um, and so uh, I may go check that out. Go back to my old stomping grounds, of course. Um, uh, Cambridge. This is in Cambridge, actually, right outside of Inman Square, and um, or p- sort of part of Inman Square, I guess. I-, I have a good idea where it is, not exactly, but.